Welcome to the Gear Pothead, Drill Pop Putty Man here. I just got back from uh, watching Ready Player One, and oh my fucking god, the nostalgia feelies I felt for this. But not even just the nostalgia feels, just in general what this means to me. Um, which I will go ahead and explain everything as we go through this review. But if at any point you do like this video, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit that little notification bell and become part of the notification squad. So, Ready Player One is, um, well, let me go ahead and give you a quick idea of what it's basically about. Ready Player One is about a, 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 a video game virtual reality world called The Oasis, where it's basically your Facebook, your Twitch, your Twitter, everything, you do everything there, you play games, it's all about being in that world and the, you basically you have all basically there's the, the game maker the guy that made it um which the character's name um, uh, the, the, um i'm sorry is holiday uh played by mark rylance um which also his character in the game itself in the oasis called uh, um Anorak. and he actually dies and leaves a hidden easter egg in the Oasis, and now everyone is trying to get to that Easter egg because the Easter egg will give the person the gift of, or winning, half a trillion dollars in ownership to Oasis. So, basically, we have basically the main character, which is Ty, played by Ty Sheridan, which is uh, Parzival, which is his uh, character name in the game, but his real name in the movie is Wade. And he ends up making friends because they're all chasing down um, basically chasing down the Easter egg. Um, they're all solo players, so they, they're doing it on their own, but they end up banding together in the movie. Um, the, the greatness of what this movie is, is not even just the nostalgia, but the friendship that it's created. It, when I, I, when I watched it, I was seeing characters everywhere, and when I mean everywhere, uh, you know, characters from Mortal Kombat, um, characters from Overwatch, characters from um, oh God, I, I, I saw Hello Freaking Kitty in there, which, of course, that kind of character is going to stick out, but all the characters, which I'm just going to flash all the characters that I already know of, they're in this, and then name a few, like Batman, I don't have a picture of Batman in there, but Batman was in, in this film, there's so many different characters, um, the dance scene actually has Harley Quinn and the Joker dancing together, there's just so many Easter eggs, I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, but basically, they all work together to try to win the Easter egg. So, the o Oasis doesn't end up in the hands of a corporation. Um, or the corporation is called IO, I'm pretty sure. Um, the guy that runs it is named Sorrento, and he wants to win the prize so he can take over and monetize. Sounds familiar, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> monetize. Uh the o Oasis, so think of them as EA, okay, so, uh, of course, uh, Parzival, uh, makes a bunch of friends, there's Artemis, played by Olivia Cook. there's, um, Ake, uh, played by Lena Waithe, there is TJ Miller, that plays Irock. we also have Philip Zhao, who plays Sho, Wynn Mar Moraski, that plays Dido, and these are the, the friends that band together to go against, uh, you know, Ben uh, Mendelssohn's character. Um, now, I don't want to give too much away, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the things that really excited me. So, from this point on, I'm going to say this, spoiler alert, right now, big red letters across the screen, spoiler alert. If you want to see Ready Player One, do not watch the rest of this video, so I thank you all for watching. And hopefully you'll check back after you see this movie so you can check out the hidden Easter eggs and spoilers. So, are you warned? You ready? Okay, awesome. Now we're getting into spoilers. Man, the characters I saw. Battletoads. Um, I saw uh, uh, Goro, Alien, um, uh, D D Chucky, uh, uh Oh, God, Freddy Krueger, a Gundam, um, a Mechagodzilla, 
uh, uh, the, the Iron Giant, I can go on and on and on with the references that you see in this movie that goes ballistic crazy. Little things when you're watching that I even saw some characters that I saw them and I go, oh my gosh, but completely forgot because there was another character that caught my eye. And even when those characters, which I remember seeing Batman at one point, but when I saw the Goro, Goro character around that time, I saw another character that I saw. It's just there's so many that catches your eye in this movie. And if you know everything that's in this movie, it's going to be hard to, to point out every single thing because you're going to catch one and then forget another. This is one of those movies that I will study to find every single hidden character. It's like an Easter egg in itself just watching it. And basically, like I said, leading up to the movie, and again, we're still in spoiler territory, basically they win the prize. And, well... Let's let, let, put it this way. The Sorrento ends up making uh, going into a Mecha Godzilla. No joke. And there's a huge fight between a Gundam, um, the uh, uh, Iron Giant, and a fucking Mecha Godzilla. It is the most epic battle I've ever seen in my lifetime in a movie. It is so much fun. And what makes it exciting is the last Easter egg in the, in the movie is actually the first Easter egg. If you know about Adventure for Atari... Um, Adventure was the first Easter egg where you would find a little dot, which was a key, to go in a particular room, and you would see the developer's name in the game. It literally was the first Easter egg ever made in a video game, and it became the last Easter egg in this movie. So, of course, the main character of Parzia, Parzia, I know I'm mispronouncing it, aka Wade, does win, and does end up getting the opportunity to sign for, well, the Oasis. And then he stops. And what happens next shed a tear in my eye. And you know what that thing is, guys? Well, I want to thank you all for watching. I also want to give a special shout out to my G-Pot crew, Hidden Easter Egg Baby. And I wanted to tell you, if you love anything geek-related from the 80s to today, go see Ready Player One. It was a blast from the past. Excitement. I was cheering them on, and it hit the heartstrings for me so much on a personal level when that ending happened. Why? I can't spoil it for you. Not even my G-Pop crew that's going to watch this review. You'll understand when you see the movie. And you'll understand why I shed a tear. So as always, I am Putty Man with the official review for Ready Player One. It is a fantastic movie. It is now basically a movie about me. If you want to think of Putty Man, think of Grandma's Boy and Ready Player One. And as always, I am Putty Man with Gamer Potheads. We are on our own oasis. I will be getting on the video game tonight. Come join us for the live stream. Also, make sure you go check out my original reaction on Stardust. I react to every single movie I see on Stardust immediately as I go out of the theater. So if you want to see the reaction, make sure you go check that out. And as always, I am Putty Man with the Game of Potheads. It's been a fantastic day. And don't forget, we're all about the high score. Peace out, and I'll talk to you all later.